my super tendo boy and welcome to another quick concept video and um, I've already kind of done a building an adventure map video on this so if you've seen that you don't need to watch this video again because it's pretty much the same thing but I decided I'd make a separate video for it because I've been using it a lot it's really useful but um, villager pathfinding using command blocks and so just to demonstrate real quick <laughs> I can put a villager here, and it pathfinds in a circle. And so that's the basic idea. And so how this is working, if you couldn't tell, is um, different execute commands using um, detect um, to detect um, what block is two blocks below the villager. And then we're setting its motion to whatever direction we want. And then we also want to set um, the direction it is looking using a TP command. So we have it for these four different hardened clays. And I'll have um, some of these commands down in the description. And so that allows us to have the mob move in a circle. And even if we want to, we can have a little more elaborate paths like this. So yeah, you get the basic idea. So that's just some of the things you can do with villagers. Another thing you can do is you can have an armor stand being teleported to a very specific villager, which I will summon right now. We're just going to go, um, actually not here, we'll make it right here. And we'll go summon villager, right, relative coordinates. I'm going to give him the custom name, test, capitalized, and as you can see here, actually let's go ahead and just put some blocks on here so the armor stand has something to stand on, but as you can see, this villager is walking around and it looks vaguely as if he's holding the actual pickaxe. It's not flawless, but um, it's what I use to... Um, simulate as if villagers are holding items and so that works too if um, that's what you want um, and then there's jumping or height or vertical um, with villagers and this is where it gets a little tricky for me um, now here's just basically what it looks like in the end <laughs> Now, as you can see, the villager just jumped up, and he jumped back ah. down. And how that's working is um, we have a slime block that's um, making him teleport himself up one when it's uh, three blocks ah. below him. But we still need these blocks here to make sure he's going the right direction as he's jumping. So if you don't want some of these blocks exposed, um, or if you just want them hidden, make sure they're a neutral block, maybe grass, or if this was uh, this sandstone setup in my map, I would use sand or sandstone for um, this instead of red hardened clay, which is the north direction for this system. Um, or you just make it so that it detects one below and you'd make all of the blocks down one. And he doesn't just fall down on his own. You have to add some sort of block. In this case, I used gravel, which um, makes him teleport himself. Um, and you want to detect that four blocks below him because he'll be up here on this block. And we want to detect all the way down here. And so we just want to detect that, and then that makes him teleport down. So, that's how height works. It's a little glitchy, but it works. So, that's how you add items um, and pretty much player path, uh, mob pathfinding. And this doesn't just work for villagers. You can use any mob. Um, but you do need to use a fairly fast clock, preferably a fill clock, to do this. Um, but yeah, I hope this helped you in um, your ways of map making or you just found it interesting and if so leave a comment below 
if any of the stuff you want to download or copy um, just tell me most of it will be in the description and uh, as I said I have something special coming up so I'm working really hard on that special certain um, map and that'll be coming out hopefully as I said in the next week or so so the video rate might be a little slower, but, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, and, um, as always, thank you for watching.